Welcome back. This video is probably about a month later than when it should have been. If you follow our other social media, you would have seen that we've been on holiday, I've done all the tubs and everything on this van. But, um, I tried to actually do this properly. Filmed it and tried to edit it so it was the right time frame. But I was editing on my iPad and it was having none of that and I got frustrated and annoyed with it. And so I just put it down and said, bollocks up. So it's been about a month and now I think it's time to get back onto it. So hopefully this video went up all right um, and you can watch it. Just know that it was, yeah, it's very much in the past. But we do have some other videos to come as well from our trip down to Cornwall. Um, there's lots going on. Currently, if this video actually drops when it's supposed to, then there's currently 25% off t-shirts on our website. So get yourself on there and clear up some of the last of our stock because we've got new gear on order and coming and getting sorted. So jump on, grab a t-shirt, support us. Help us make some more videos because the more money we make from t-shirts and stuff, the less we have to do actual work, so the more we can piss around with this stuff and film it and create good content. Right, so I'm going to hand you over to Chris from nearly a month ago. Good morning, welcome back to another episode at Lowdown Transports. If you're new here, my name is Chris. We lower vans for a living. So, this is my 1959 split screen. Um, it's a done on the road vehicle in the loosest terms possible. We're getting ready to go down to Devon in a couple of weeks time so I'm getting some bits sorted on this. If you're not new here and you're re-watching this, sorry, just repeating myself. So what have we been up to? So get back on it. Um, we're messing around with wheels at the minute. So I've been trying to upgrade, upgrade go up some tyre sizes, um, but that then runs us into issues. It was then a little bit higher on the rear because it topped out in the top of the tub. So we're currently fettling in there to gain a little bit more to bring the tub of that up. Um, but whilst we're at that, I'm rebuilding my front wheels. So these are 0.5 inch lips and five inch barrels. So it makes a five and a half inch wheel. That's a two inch lip with a three and a half inch barrel. So we're tubbing out into the doors. So cutting this out, cutting that out, tub that, tub that, bring that further out. Better luck. Um, and also a nicer, nicer looking dish. Looks less lost in the wheel arch. Morning. I fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> <It's so stiff. laughs> <laughs> For anyone who's new here, this is Jack from Dropworks Customs. I shall put him on here. He also has his own YouTube that we do stuff on. Hello. <laughs> we do stuff like this. Um, so, yes, that's the plan. Moving forward is tubbing that front end in. Get some more lock, but we've still got to build up the other wheel. I need to get tyres, put a tyre on there before we can start welding it all in, because I want to make sure that it's 100% before it all starts getting welded up. But look at it, it looks so much nicer. It's very pleasant. Doesn't it? You can, just at different angles, you can still see the wheel. Hang on, for comparison, let me go out on the other side because the other one's still on. Can you see it yet? Can you see it yet? Can you, oh, there it is. It's a little bit further in. So yeah, this is so it was. Um, that's very jazzy, but yeah, I'm clouting on. I clout, clout on the inside of that tub there. As you can see, it's not very far away. But also, the bag is on the on the inside there. So when I hit that, I hit that. But it's all different with the other wheels on. Smaller barrels. I'm gonna make coffee. Yeah, I need one. Yes. Let's go. So my week has currently gone terribly because of AccuAir on that. Missing parts and stuff, hey ho. So, it's the weekend now, which means we get to play vehicles. 
Jack's getting on with the Ranger back. I'm getting on with the split screen. I have success here. Actually managed to knock the pins out, um, which is a job I've tried before, but it was having none of it, but a little bit of heat and persuasion and eventually managed to get the pins to shift out. So basically the plan is to put actual, I'm gonna put R clips in here, sort of shave a little bit off of them with the grinder so that it's an easier fit, um, just so I can get in there easier because at the minute I'm having to, I have to take the bumper off. Um, to get into the engine hatch so now i can just pull a couple of pins and just pull the hatch off because i either have to go in that way or i go in the top which is annoying i've got to modify that now as well i want to put a, a the flat all the way around it i'm going to put a proper j seal around the bay to seal that fully because it's a, just one of those little jobs that never got done um i've also just realized because I'm doing them tubs, I thought I'd take the seat base out. And with the seat base out, it's actually very comfortable to drive. I can actually sit in it properly. If you've ever seen me driving this before, I'm literally like hunched up like this because I'm so far up. But I've actually lost probably a good two, three inches there just by taking the seat base off. Yes, you look less like a cripple. Yeah, this is, this is comfy. I just need to make a... Uh, well, Jack is actually going to make me. Jack's going to make me a nice gear stick extension, just like a nice little S to come further up here. Because then I can just sit up and drive casually, change gears, because at the minute I have to rip, lean right over to change gears. And what happens when I change gears, Jack? You go in the other lane. <laughs> Every time. Yeah, Jack can always tell when I'm changing gears because I, uh, I weave all over the road because I have to shift over to change gear and my left hand's on the steering wheel I tend to push myself over that way so do some little jiggery poogery can I have a 99 and a gumball please <laughs> so yeah I think that's the plan I think the original the seat is literally just bolted in from underneath the tubs I think what I might do is the seat base just put some little bits of threaded bar out of it so that when you actually get to a show you can just drop it in and into the holes so it looks well these tubs look nice don't they I forgot what a lovely job we've done on. Nice. So, that's the plan. Um, another little job. I've got to make the actual... I've got to make a proper extension under this. I don't know how well you can see that. Just a couple of bits of tube. Um, but that then sort of... You can see how much movement is in the base. When I try and change gear. I need to make an actual extension there. Um... So yes, many little jobs. Shall get on with them. So, <clears throat> just been doing a quick job whilst Gary's fretting. He was supposed to leave about an hour ago. He's still messing around with some wiring. Look okay, at him go. He's friend. So, update. Well, this one is all welded up. Uh, internals all welded up. So, I needed to wait for that to cool anyway. So I started getting on with some of the other little jobs. I did that, it's done. So, what we've done here whilst I was messing around with this. So yeah, I took these pins out the other night. So now, let's get into my engine and just take that one out. Take that one out. Turn that off. Obviously the number plate light is just on some couple of connectors. Job done. I also cut that hole out behind the number plate and spaced the plate off a bit, just to let a little bit more airflow. But yes. Aw, it's like Mater. My name's Mate. So that's another little job, just ticked off the list whilst I was waiting for Gary. So tomorrow, Sunday, is my day to crack on with the other tub. So this, I haven't even started yet, at all. Nothing's cut, nothing. So I'm gonna pull that wheel off. Um, I may even turn that around. What I might do first thing in the morning is 
clean up the welds on there, clean up the welds on there, so that's all the noise. Turn the van around so that I've got more space for working on the tub on the other side. And now that was done and I know exactly what I'm doing, exactly how I'm doing it, I shall actually film it rather than me just talking waffle. But yeah, I'm getting somewhere. Um, I can't remember whether I've spoken about it already. I've tested a slightly bigger tire on the front. I can't remember if, you, if you've ever seen my front tires, you'd be like, what the fuck? Um, let me just show you on here. That's, that's with air in it. Oh no, is it not? Oh no, it might be flat actually. It might be flat. They have a tendency of going flat. Um, so they're a tiny little tire, 165, 35. That's a 185, 35, one eight, yeah, 185.35, 35, but I can't go for that because it's too wide for the wheel because it's only a five and a half inch rim. So, but I was just testing the height on it because um, that's the same height as a 165.40, which is what I'm going to go for. I just want to make sure I've definitely had the clearance in the tubs. So yeah, look at that nice big tire on the rear. So yeah, that's, that's the plan. Um, So, I'm going to go. I'll see you in the morning. Have a hole. Jack's having fun? No? He's having a great time. So you will have just seen me cut that hole out. I've obviously done the other side already. So I'm able to film this one. So yeah, I was able to just do that in one hit because I know exactly where I'm cutting. So I've cut that out. You probably then saw me close the door and roll underneath so that I can mark where the new tub is going to be, and how far out it comes. Um, and what I shall do is, like, I'll cut just out over the lines, basically, because obviously I've got to make sure that there's enough for the steel and just a slight gap. So I shall cut just outside of the lines, basically, um, to give it some space. So I shall cut that door out now, and then we shall start making some pieces to go in but yes as you can see this is where this is what restricted me in the past the bags have to go at a weird silly angle to be able to push this all down without catching on the spindles so the bag has to be pointed back so as you can imagine with a wheel um, obviously it's better when it's lower because when it's lower the wheel comes back so it's a bit better but yeah when I hit the the old tub it would get very close to that bag and so which is why I turn it out and had to rebuild the wheels so that I could space the wheels out a little bit get it away from the get it in the middle between the bag and then the new tub that's why we're doing this um, yes cut that out now you want to saw yes Unlike you, banging in the background of every video I ever do, I am a gentleman. Oh.
little gimbal thing ran out of battery. That video should have shown you me tacking in the side of the door and the side of the top. <laughs> but the gimbal ran out of battery, so all you saw instead was Jack and Rob carrying the, the truck back in. <laughs> Jack's having a little tidy up. Work tomorrow. Work tomorrow. It's all fun and games, working on the weekend until you realise you're not having a day off. Never mind, the rest of the weekend. So, I guess I'll, uh, yeah. Now they're tacked in. I shall, um, I guess cut some strips for the top. Cut the strip for the top of that. Get them all tacked in. And then, I don't know what the time is, but I guess I'll have a tidy up as well of my area. And then go and try and see my family. Right, there you go with it. So, that'll do for today. It's Sunday, it's five o'clock, I'm tired. Um, also, I cocked up. So, start getting the tub tacked in and that, thinking it's all good. Getting a bit peeved off of this corner here it was a little bit sort of short. But what I didn't realise that I somehow naturally done on the other side, but didn't do on this side. Um, I need to come back to here just along the top um, because the shape of the split comes up. So as you can see, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's hard to it's hard to show, but yeah, I'm not. But yeah, I'm outside the door. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got to come, come back with it, um, because at the minute the door doesn't shut fully. Um, yeah, I don't know how I did it on the other side. Somehow, uh, somehow I just done the tub and just didn't fuck it up. Um, that one's, I mean, it still looks a little bit over, but then again, this door is, uh, um, from the point here, door. This door is a little bit more out of shape, though. Um, it always has been. It's all bent up here. That was when I first got it. That was like this corner was so far out because it had been like I don't really know. I don't know what happened to it, but it was bowed out like that. Basically, we managed to bend it back a bit and get it kind of straight, but it's not quite there. So yeah, sort of. I got you know I got there today. I got a bit done, but not as much as I would have liked. But some days are better than others, unfortunately. Um, ain't so bad anyway. I'll just cut that, cut that along the line that I've that I've done. Um, quickly cut them tack bits off and tilt that back. And tack it all back up again. And that should clear. I've cut that strip ready to do the top part of the door um so in theory you know a few more hours and that should all be sort of tacked out well, probably half day sort of five six hours probably tacked up and then welded up and cleaned up like the other side never mind these things happen but look at the other side the other side's jazzy i don't know whether they're actually i don't know whether this point of filming or whether i've actually filmed it sort of all all cleaned up and done. And, um, obviously got to just run a bead of sealant round in the corners and stuff. And then seal it from underneath. But yes, yeah, not, not bad at all. Bit of paint on there. Should be nice. So, I shall see you in a little while in the next evening. So yeah, I trimmed my, trimmed a bit out, it's obviously popped out to where it. So yeah, just um, bring that back in and tackle that up. Just need a little bit of shaping around there. Um, Jack did in the welder yesterday when I'd, when I'd cut that out, so or yesterday afternoon. So I got on and just made the top, the top strip to go in there. Um, so again, that's what I, Give that a bit of shaping and a bit of tacking and then get welding. Hey, woo, let's go.
that is that. <laughs> the battery grinder wasn't really doing much, so I had to swap over to the 240. I don't know why I even started with that, because um, I did the 240 on the other side. Ah, so that's all cleaned up. Um, that's a few little bits, but it's pretty damn good. That's all. Yeah, so I guess um, put some sealant around the edges, corners, should I say. Um, get it primed, get it painted. Um, considering they're, they're quite they're quite rushed to be fair they're not as much time as I'd like to spend on them but still it's like that's part of three days into them really <sighs> but I've got a list of things that I need to be getting moving on with um, brake booster turned up earlier so that's nice do that at some point that is my interior panels. Interior panel sheeting. So, I have to wait for that one, probably for the next episode. Right, so put some sealant on some of those edges. Just to neaten them up a bit, because I can't get the grinder right in them, but also yeah, seal them off a little bit. Um, so, whilst that dries, before I can put primer on, I'm gonna rebuild this other wheel. Uh, I've done one front already. So, so the new ones are two inch lips and three and a half inch barrels. Well, not barrels, they're, they're lips, but you know, don't make barrels that small. Whereas the old ones were five inch barrels and 0.5 inch lips. So I'm gonna strip this apart and get that one rebuilt and sealed up. Um, hopefully I'll get some tyres, because I've ordered two sets of tyres now. Both of them have been refunded, because no one actually had them in stock. Which is handy. Um, not given. Paul at Tamar Wheels a ring on Monday. Um, he might know someone who's got a pair. Hopefully. Shout out to Paul. He usually sort of hooks us up when um, we're on last minute things. So, yeah. I'm going to strip that apart, rebuild that. to the end of this video nearly um, because it's about three o'clock on Saturday. I obviously need to get home and edit this video up. Um, we need to go up tomorrow. So you've just seen I've just been chucking some primer on the doors and the tubs. Um, so in between doing coats of that, I'm going to move on to this. Um, I need to basically continue. I put them lips on either side. I'm, I spoke about it earlier in the video, I think, but I can't remember. I had to put an engine, a proper seal on this, so I need to carry that lip whoop, all the way around. So, still. So, I'm going to do that and get some paint on. And then it'll be the end of this video. Whoop.
So that is, uh, like I said, I was gonna do. This is just basically carrying that lip on all the way around so it gives it a nice flat surface to <laughs> suction down onto on the seals. He's got some primer on them now, so I should imagine I shall beginning in the next video. They shall probably be painted. And we should be moving on to something else. Also, I've done a lot of tacking up today without a mask on. Closing my eyes, so I'd imagine the next video will start me red faced, itchy forehead probably. Sunburnt from the from the welder, but never mind. These things happen. So if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a comment, or if you haven't liked the video, drop a comment. Let us know what you think of it. Um, enjoy doing them, but if you don't enjoy doing them, we're well done. <sighs> Please subscribe as well. Thank you. Catch you on the next one. All right, I lied. Now I'm done for the day. Got some paint on them tubes. Yeah, buddy. Catch you next week.